First tonight, a big postponement in New Jersey's reopening plan. Indoor dining is on hold indefinitely. Hello everyone, I'm Yuki Washington. Jess is off tonight. Governor Murphy's announcement is a major blow not only to restaurant owners and workers, but also casinos. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Davis is in Collingswood to explain the reasons behind the governor's decision. Kimberly. Yuki, of course, restaurant owners are disappointed with the governor's decision. Governor Phil Murphy made the decision after seeing reports of overcrowding, people not respecting social distancing, and few people wearing masks inside New Jersey restaurants. Today, we must hit pause on the resumption of indoor dining. It was an announcement that caught restaurants by surprise. Dining establishments were gearing up to serve customers indoors this Thursday, but it's been put on hold. The national situation compounded by instances of knucklehead behavior here at home are requiring us to hit pause on the restart of indoor dining, dining uh, for the foreseeable future. How you doing? The owner of Bistro Di Marino of Collingswood says the governor's announcement caught him off guard. Very disappointing. Obviously, though, it's for the greater good of health, and you know we're all we're all for that. Though James Marino says it's for the greater good, it does come with challenges. When we got the news that there was going to be a reopening, we started taking reservations. So now we'll have to deal with the how we'll plan out on canceling these reservations. Restaurants are now making the necessary adjustments to be in compliance with the governor's mandates. Our revenues are all off no matter what business you're in, but you know, all entrepreneurs are entrepreneurs because they learn how to adjust. Beverages would not be allowed on any casino gaming floors once they do reopen or on Thursday, as well as the indoor bars. Borgata in Atlantic City says it will not reopen on Thursday as planned. We're live in Collingswood. I'm Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Kimberly, thank you. And